Did you know Sean Diddy Combs, one of the most influential figures in hip hop, is now behind bars? It all started when federal authorities arrested him in New York on serious charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. The arrest wasn't out of the blue. Combs had been under investigation for months, and it all came crashing down after a raid on his homes in Los Angeles and Miami. Authorities found AR-15 rifles, thousands of bottles of lubricant, and electronic evidence of something disturbing known as freak-offs. What are freak-offs? Combs allegedly hosted drug-fueled sexual performances involving multiple victims, often coercing them into days-long activities. These sessions were recorded, and the footage wasn't just for show. Prosecutors say Combs used these recordings as blackmail, ensuring his victims stayed silent and obedient. It was Combs' ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, who first exposed the dark side of his life. In 2023, she filed a lawsuit accusing Combs of years of abuse, including physical assaults and coerced participation in the freak-offs. Just one day after filing the suit, they settled. But it sparked a flood of similar accusations from other victims. This case went beyond civil lawsuits, leading to federal charges. In court, the judge refused Combs' $50 million bail offer, citing the severity of the crimes and the risk he posed to witnesses. Prosecutors revealed that Combs had already attempted to contact victims, intimidating them into silence. One witness said Combs contacted her 58 times in four days, urging her to change her story. Combs' criminal enterprise didn't stop at sex trafficking. Prosecutors allege he used his business empire, including his record label, security teams, and personal assistants to facilitate these crimes. From booking hotel rooms to transporting sex workers across state lines, his staff were deeply involved. This wasn't just a case of one man's actions. It was a sprawling network of manipulation and control. The case against Combs is shocking not only because of the abuse, but because of the lengths he went to cover it up. He tried to bribe security staff, and even after being caught on surveillance video assaulting Cassie in 2016, he continued to deny everything until the video surfaced. The public saw Combs kicking and dragging Cassie in a Los Angeles hotel hallway, an image that contradicted the polished persona he had built over decades. Now, with evidence of weapons, drugs, and coercion, Sean Diddy Combs is facing the full force of the law. The once celebrated mogul now sits in federal detention, waiting for his trial to begin as victims who lived in fear for years finally find their voices.